Yo guys, what's going on? It's your boy Kavi. Today I'm gonna be teaching y'all how to make some crazy loops for Drake. We're gonna be using our own vocals. So you don't have to be running through Splice or any of that. But if you do need vocal samples, check out vocalsupply.com. Use the code KXVI30 on there. You can get 30% off all my vocal chops that I use in my Drake melodies soul samples stuff like that as usual this loop is going to be available to download in the description down below let's get right into this loop you feel me So super ambient, vibey, Drake could definitely kill this one. So we're gonna get right into how I made this. First thing you wanna do with these kind of samples is you wanna start at around 165 BPM. And a good place that I like to start is either with a Rhodes electric piano or with just an acoustic grand piano. I started with the Stage 73 jazz time preset. At least half of my Drake samples are this chord progression. It's just, it always works. So what I'm gonna do for you guys is delete this pattern and show y'all how I created that. First thing you're gonna wanna do is make the bass line. And on this one, I went D and then a half note later down to C sharp and then down to B. Drag this out to play out for the rest of this four bar pattern. And then for the second half, all I did is just use those same notes, but reverse the order of it, which is a good way to kind of add variation to your chord progression. Then I went and I stretched this one out. So after that, I'm gonna press Command A, Command C, copy everything, and then I'm gonna raise these notes up seven. What I'm gonna do now is fill in these middle notes. This one is gonna be a major chord, so we're gonna go right here. The next one's gonna be a minor chord, and we're gonna leave two spaces between the middle note and the bass note. Lastly, this chord's also gonna be a minor chord, so we're gonna leave two spaces there drag this out. What we're going to do is just copy these notes as they make sense with these chords here. So now we've got this. After that, I just want to add some sevenths to it. Just give it that R&B feeling, which helps a lot with these Drake loops. I'm going to go up here to C sharp and to make a major seventh, you're going to leave three spaces right here. And then for the minor, you're going to leave two spaces again for the seventh note. and then two spaces again right here. And we're just going to copy all these notes over again. Next thing that I did was copy those exact chords onto the Spitfire Labs soft piano. And this is what that sounds like. All right. The next thing that I did was I copied all of those bass notes and I went into my analog lab bank and grabbed this bass summer nights preset. The link to get this will also be in the description down below with 30% off with the code KXVI30. Don't forget to use that. So this is what the bass looks like. Super vibey, definitely gives off that Drake R&B feeling. But now I know what y'all came for is to see how I did these vocals. So let's get into how the raw takes sound. <laughs> this is what it sounds like with no effects or speeding up or anything. So as you can tell, I'm not hitting the notes quite right. I don't really have a singing voice, whatever, but if I can make this sound dope, you can definitely make your own sound dope. So the first thing that I did is I went in here and I sped up these vocal chops two times as fast as they were. And I also pitched it up an octave. And I just did this by choosing the speed effects flex time. And then when you double the speed, it also will put it up an octave. So this is what it sounds like now. So they're already sounding a lot better, but they're definitely rough around the edges still. I hit it with some auto tune right here. I also put on this NS1 from Waves to get rid of some of the background noise that my computer was making in the recording. And then I put on this Magnitude Transition 1 preset in RC20 for the vocal. So as you can tell, it's definitely a lot better right now. After I had that, I reversed one of the vocal chops just to put at the end of the pattern so it transitions into the next part of the loop nicely. And this is what that sounds like. I bounced all those together into an audio file and I pitched them down five and I pitched the whole sample down five at this point, I think. This is what we've got so far. The 
next thing that I did is I thought the keys needed a little bit of processing to kind of fit the vibe that I was going for. So I went in on Decimort and I brought the, the frequency way down. So it's cutting out all the high end. I then added a tremolo, which is just making it go back and forth, but it gives this cool sound like it's kind of dropping out and it makes it more vibey. And then I just hit it with a vinyl one preset from RC20. After I had that, I pretty much just bounced all the ideas I had into individual audio files so that the reverb wasn't cutting over into other sections of the sample. So now let's get into the arranging of the sample. So I started off this first section with the bass, the keys, and the vocal. After that, I dropped the bass out and switched the electric piano for the acoustic piano. No, he'll edit it. You can say hi. Oh, who is it? Uh, YouTube. Oh, okay. Bye. <laughs> Bye. After that section, I swapped the electric piano for the acoustic piano and I dropped out the bass. Then I brought the bass back in and pitched the vocal and the piano up an octave. After that, it was pretty much arranged. I just stemmed out all of the layers at the end of the sample. I pitched it down one semitone and I sped it up to 170 BPM. And this is what the final sample sounds like. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this one. The sample came out super dope. If you want this loop in 38 more like it, you can use the code KXVI30 on loopstash.com and get my new Sacrifices Volume 8 loop kit, which comes with a bunch of these R&B and soul loops. But yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.